All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another show. Uh, there's me, that's my man Zo over there. And um, today's show, uh, we know that uh, we're in the midst of the holiday season, the gift giving season right now. Um, and I just, I, I just want to ask you a question, Zo. Like, uh, what, what type of relationships uh, do you think are worthy of receiving gifts from any particular person? You talking about like significant other or just family? I mean, family, you know, be like, you know, mom, dad, you know, right? Grandparents or you know, nieces and nephews are a must, but, uh, but like significant others, I'd say like, uh, maybe like a year. Let's say if you can make anything last a year, you should start actually like at least so showing you that you care on the holidays. So you think got the you think got the year is a is a good time to start. Uh, giving out gifts and stuff to uh, your significant other. I mean, you may want to do it while you're still pursuing it within that year, but I mean, as long as it's reciprocated, it should be. It should go both ways, right? Um, uh, but you should still just give a present if, if you feel that way. If you feel like you should give a present, I think after a year, I think it's kind of kind of cool. You don't want to be just giving people presents. You've met them last week and shit. Yeah, no, I, I definitely wouldn't be doing no shit like that. Like, I ain't giving nobody nothing, no way. You know, you, you, you I don't know if you say the- uh, It'd be like that too. <laughs> the, the, the Saturday Night Live uh, uh, Christmas, uh, uh, it's a skit, an old skit with, uh, what's his name? With Justin Timberlake and there's another white guy who was on, who was on, who from oh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I forget his name, but uh, the uh, dick in the box. Adam Sandberg or whatever? Yeah, yeah, at, no, no. Uh, it, it, it's not Adam Sandler, but um, it's no, not Adam, Adam Adam Sandberg or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. That's exactly the guy. Yeah, but they got the dick in the box skit. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. That 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 would be me. That's what you get, dick in the box. But um, to just to continue with this story, I uh, uh, recently on uh, social media, there's this video that came up a couple of days ago, right around uh, Christmas, Christmas Eve. I'm assuming. And I'm not really sure if it's if it's a real video or not. Um, for some odd reason, it's been put out that it may be a faux video, but um, whether or not that's the case, I still I still thought that it was a interesting video. Um, to me, that it didn't seem like these people were capable of uh, Oscar worthy performances. Uh, they they were they didn't look like the actor type, <laughs> so it seemed real enough to me. But uh, in the video. There's a young lady who's um, who's being presented gifts to her by uh, her guy. And during the video, as she's opening up the gifts, uh, I'm guessing that she's noticing that uh, she's opening the gifts and these are like shoes that already belong to her or whatever. Her <laughs> yeah, they, they all us, it's all us stuff. You know, she finally gets to the last gift, which is a, um, a carry-on bag. <laughs> some sort of luggage, you know, indicating that uh, it's time for you to get the hell on. And he does at the end of the video kick her the hell out of the house, you know. Which he is gets her, he gets her an Uber for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> he said that'll be my Christmas gift. For right, I got you an Uber. That's, that's a hell of a sl uh, sleigh, you know. It's the but you know what's even funnier is before she even noticed that she she seen the the carry on. She was like, "We going somewhere?" Yeah. No, she no, she started getting next because she's going through yeah. the shoes and you know it's like she's getting leery a little bit, but then she gets to the bag and the excitement is kicking up again because maybe we may be taking a trip. You know what I mean? That's maybe that's the hey, game. man. She was yeah. committed though. She was committed to that. No, <laughs> man, I thought that was cool. I, yeah, it was it it was funny. It I think it, it may be a, a Cause I think you've seen a flash on the on her phone, and instead of different time, it said like seven seven something. Mm -hmm. He said it was twelve fifteen, but either way, it's plausible. And I mean, there's real actors in everyday life. Those are some of the best actors we see. Yeah. So, but if I mean, this shit there was, was... <coughs> my bad, so but if this oh, shit ahead. was cheating, you know, and she got caught by this dude. You know, I, I just think that um, it was very funny that he chose, you know, uh, Christmas of all days to uh, enact his little uh, scheme and his plot, <laughs> you know, so um, 
Yeah, she shouldn't have been wilding out like this if that's what if that's what's going on. If we got chicks who are out here, and we do got a lot of chicks who are out here screwing other dudes and just we doing got all dudes this out stuff. here screwing other, you know. Yeah, yeah, it goes both ways, but it's yeah. Funny the guy the the, the guy who uh, was being named in the video was named so too. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were finna talk about that, man. That's crazy. That well, was crazy. So I'm looking, I'm like, man, you ain't talking about my soul is, you know? I'm like, nah, no, man. but um, no. <laughs> I thought that was funny, you know, so that, that she ended up talking about uh, Zoe as the as the culprit, you know, that we were looking for. Yeah, um, a lot of chicks who are just out here cheating and wilding out, and then you got guys who are um, going to work, sacrificing, um, doing all the things that they supposed to do in their relationships. And they come home to a chick like this who has just uh, got a hand open and um, uh, apparently a legs open <laughs> to anybody. Yeah, I mean, she wanted to take her gifts and she was like, oh, that because I think she got him something. She got him some. I think she said she got him some Gucci slides or some shit. But he was like, this is nothing compared to what I got you, like the money I spend on you. And I spend on money on you every day. So I mean, it, it's situational, but to the point that like, you, you you can look at it and say it's somewhat a standard now. It's crazy. Like, I mean, that, that goes to just to say, like, I, I was reading, I, I read this thing and there's uh, something that I want to bring up, okay. but it was, uh, it was, uh, uh, he wrote out on YouTube. He was just he had a little uh, shot on it on, I think it's Instagram, Twitter yeah. or some shit. Right. But he was like, so me and my girl of eight months decided to open gifts on Christmas. She opened her gifts that I bought her and screams that I got everything uh, that she wanted. She got a Louis Vuitton purse. She got some spring uh, flower creed perfume and two Pandora charms. She was crying and she was thankful for thanking me for her gifts. Uh, she hands me three gifts. And he was hyped because he thought, you know, since I got her what she wanted, she got me exactly what I wanted. But then he opened his gifts and it was uh, some socks, an axe gift set, and some silk boxers. And then he just looked at her in silence and he ended up, it was like, after a minute, I asked her, where's the stuff? Because this has to be a joke. Right. Because she makes money. He, She's a hairstylist. She makes like $2,000 a week right. up to. Mm-hmm. And um, she told me that that's all she got. Uh, and she, he, he, he just looked at her and he was angry. So he took back the gifts. And she was like, "If you do that, we're single." And he said, "I guess I'm single." It's like this is it? Like this? It's crazy. Crazy dude. Crazy dude. No, that. And when I think of something like that, I, I like I, I don't. Bl- I actually don't blame that guy for that situation. Um, to take back the gifts because. Again, when we, when you talk about how ungrateful a lot of these, um, you know, and not to say that it's just women because there's just ungrateful people out here. Period. Oh, definitely. You know, um, but the spotlight does get put on uh, women a lot in these situations because you know men are stepping up and um, you know doing the right thing or uh, supposedly doing the right thing by um, you know. Uh, not worrying about the, you know, uh, paying for whether it be a rent, you know, or just uh, if you break it down to just simple dinners and drinks and all that. But, you know, guys are uh, like spending all this money with the intent that you're going to at least be truthful with me. You know what I mean? So, yeah, <laughs> at least. So, yeah. So um, if, if you can't at least get that from these people and you dishing out all this uh, monetary stuff, you know, not to mention your, you know, emotional equity that you're putting into it, but definitely, uh, I, I just think that it's crazy. So yeah, I don't blame this guy for being like that. I think any guy in his right mind would want to do the same thing. Um, you probably never want to deal with that chick again, anyway. Like she did you a favor if she's even in, if you even dealing with a chick who don't understand like the um, reciprocal nature. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, uh, and the balance that uh, of how a relationship should go, then um, yeah, you 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 did yourself a huge favor and not being around that person anymore anyway. So that's just my thought. But you um, you can say what you got to say. So no, I mean that you 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 hit it. It's that's exactly what it is. I mean, you need to get someone that's on your level. You need to to be able to to have that reciprocation is is key. I mean. It's kind of like when you talk, she talks, you know, or, you know, 
you come with your problems, like she should already know, you should already know what's wrong. You just have to be on the level. But a lot of people misconstrue the relationship and they're not in relationship with, with people that they really care about. So maybe gifts ain't really a strong point and it probably isn't something that matters to most. Well, how, how about that? How about this? We, we uh, cause I, I, I tend to think that, you know, the, the gift giving process <laughs> for Western society has turned into a competition, you know? So, yeah, um, definitely. I, 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 that, that's what, that's what I think. That's why I think like for me, you know, um, in a perfect world, you know, I, I, we wouldn't be doing none of this because I, I, I think that it just builds up that competitive thing to where now you got um, this parent trying to do outdo the other parent, um, these parent, these set of parents trying to outdo uh, this kid's parents over yeah. here. You know, yeah, it's a big influence on kids too. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Because you, know, you got kids going to school and then they check what would they got and then. Mm -hmm. Other kids come home, they're like, Well, I got I want this. Yeah. <laughs> I want this from you know so and so said so they got that. Yeah. It, it, but the but the thing about a gift though is when you expect it. Like a gift is something that somebody feels they should get you because of for their own reasons. Right. So you expecting it is already arrogant on your behalf. Yeah. People, no, I think no, people yeah. that receive gifts should step back and, and like really look at because no, nobody gives anybody anything for nothing. No, not not at if all. You're giving your, your, even if you're giving your time, you're expecting something out of it. It could be various reasons. You know, you, you could be looking for somebody, you could be looking for a friend, you could be looking for just companionship or, you know, just a, a, a talk. Just, you know, you could go on so many different levels. So uh, yeah, I think I think relationships and all that are are kind of overlooked on how they should be looked at, and everybody's just in relationships. But just to be in relationships, want. yeah, yeah, and people are selfish too. So I mean, it, it it it's it's a it's a curse for everybody. You just gotta find that balance, and you gotta find someone that balances you. Yeah, no, I, if if only we realize, uh, and you again, you said it, you know, um, people are selfish. People are not um, going into these situations just really looking like I I, I want to try to make this person happy for as long as I'm with this person and um, let the cars fall where they may after that. You know, yeah. like like me, I, I I think we put too much into like all this uh, worrying about all this uh, outside and excess stuff when you just worry about what you doing. You know, and um, if they not doing right, um, you know, what's in, what's in the dark will come to the light. So um, mm. things will take care of itself eventually, you know, and the right stuff will happen if you if you putting out the right energy, I believe. You know, so um, uh, with that being said, I, 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 I just want to say that, um, you know, the, the, a lot of these ungrateful people that are out here in the world, they, they probably want to go ahead and try to um, switch up their ways. I know that uh, the the first of the year is coming, so you probably want to start making your resolutions early, <laughs> you know, to change over, you know. But um, yeah, I think that's necessary that we do that, man, and um, not have so many of these people into that competitive mode of trying to outdo each other for uh, uh, for affection through monetary means. Well, know, yeah, that I mean, that's what that's why I don't really like the uh, the saying "happy wife, happy life." Cause it's like, we both should be happy in the relationship. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be one-sided. It, it should be, we're the prize together, you know? Cause I mean, until you find someone, I mean, technically you're probably like a broken person. And yeah. when you find that person, then, then you, you got, you're the prize together, I guess. Well, I know one thing, uh, if that we video, prices. yeah, no, I know. Right. If that video was true, and if the, and that lady <coughs> in the video is kicked out, you know, um, she can come slap this way for a second. I'm not going. <laughs> I was gonna say she ain't coming to Zoe's. <laughs> right, right. You know, she I, uh, yeah, she can't come to you, but you know, I'll I'll play Zoe for a day. You know, <laughs> I'll be you for a day, brother. You know what I mean? And I'll take on the burden for one day of this trifling person. So, sounds like an expensive life, man. <laughs>
<laughs> but anyway, man, uh, like, comment, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell. Um, that would do us a great service, man. Um, me and everybody that works with the show, we really enjoy putting out these videos, man. Um, it's time consuming, so we we just like some show of appreciation to say thanks, you know. But uh, even if not, we still gonna continue to do them anyway. <laughs> or leave a comment <laughs> right 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 leave a comment say we ain't shit you know you could do that too you know so but um like i said just do everything that we said we also got the um the facebook page uh facebook page excuse me you made roscoe you can go there and leave comments and check out videos as well um anything you want to say before we get out, out of here no i'm good man all right man i guess that's uh that's it then uh deuces everybody